A proper microscopic image is always sharp and free of glare. If the image appears otherwise, the specimen may not be well prepared, for example, too thick, or the microscope is not properly aligned. The Kohler illumination technique is a fast and easy technique to align the microscope properly. A microscope should always be checked for the Kohler illumination before use. Here we perform Kohler illumination with yeast cells as sample objects. Place the slide on the specimen stage and use the 20 times objective for adjustment. After switching on the light, we open the luminous field diaphragm as far as it will go. We now adjust the height of the condenser. The front lens should be a few millimeters away from the slide. It is important to find the right focal plane. Be sure that the yeast cells are focused and not the dust particles on the surface of the cover slip. It may be difficult to find the object in an unaligned microscope. After adjustment of the focal plane, we start with the Kohler alignment procedure. First of all, we close down the luminous field diaphragm. The resulting small spot may be blurred and eccentric. By moving the condenser carefully up and down, we focus the edge of the luminous field diaphragm aperture. Now, we are looking at two sharp image planes at the same time, the object plane and the plane of the luminous field diaphragm. These planes are conjugated. If the spot of the luminous field diaphragm is eccentric, we carefully turn the adjustment knobs of the condenser. When the spot is in the center of our view field, the condenser is in line with the optical axis of the microscope. Now we open the luminous field diaphragm until the edges are just outside the view field. Basically, the microscope is aligned. Now we have to improve the optical contrast of the object. The optical plane of the condenser field diaphragm is invisible to us, but we see a tremendous effect by closing the diaphragm. The contrast of the object increases but we must be careful. By closing down to more than two-thirds of the widest possible diameter, we get more and more optical artifacts in the image. For small, unstained objects, like microorganisms, the condenser field diaphragm does not provide sufficient contrast. Our microscope is equipped with phase contrast. Phase contrast optics transform slight differences in refractive indices in bright, dark contrast meaning a microorganism with a slightly higher refractive index shows a dark contrast. Inclusion bodies with a higher refractive index, for example, lipid granules, appear very bright. To use the phase contrast, we must open the aperture diaphragm, handle at the very left. Otherwise, we will block the light path. We may now place the phase annulus in the optical axis. In addition to the phase annulus, a specialized phase objective is needed. A phase objective is marked with pH. Since every objective needs its own phase annulus, be sure that the combination of phase annuli and objectives are fitting. In our example, we use the phase annulus for pH 2 objective, magnification 40 times. Now the yeast cell is easily visible. The cell appears dark, surrounded by a brighter halo.